Howdy y'all, Matt here. It is April 13th and it is the day before I'm taking all the chickens to slaughter. I have replaced their uh, chicken house with a trailer. So their chicken house is right here and I've moved the trailer in place to be able to get them in there. Lord willing, they're gonna go up there and go to sleep inside the trailer because I've got to leave here at no later than 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to be able to get to the slaughterhouse. So I've been working kind of today, getting all the pieces ready to go. So I got the trailer uh, ready for them. I've got my coolers in the back of the truck. I've got my freezers plugged in and I'm actually gonna throw those in the back of the truck as well. Uh, so that way we have something to put the chickens in once they're processed. And uh, now, and they've, had, they've been fed their last meal. Now uh, what's kind of remaining is we gotta get them loaded up. And uh, so hopefully tonight I'll come out here and they will have loaded themselves into the trailer. Um, we'll see, I may be moving 98 birds by hand into this trailer. So, but I guess there's worse things that can happen. So um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. I'm a little bit antsy because I want to make sure that we have everything right here. I want to do it right. I don't want to stress the birds out. I want to make sure that they, uh, you know, don't have a bunch of adrenaline pumping through their muscles because uh, that can make the meat a little bit tougher. So yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be able to do this without a hitch and everything will go smoothly. Fingers crossed. All right, so Jasper came over to see the chickies for one last time. Do you want to say bye chickies? Bye, Chickies. Bye, Chickies. So next time we're going to see them, they're going to be in our freezer, huh? Are we going to eat them? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Very simple. We're just going to eat them. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, dark outside right now. I think it's about 8.30, give or take. And I'm going to go make sure all those chickens made it into the trailer. I'm assuming some of them have not, so I'm probably going to have to, maybe all of them, so I'm probably going to have to pick them up and put them in the trailer, and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to get the uh, roosters from our laying pen. So here we go. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, man, they're all out. Dead gum. Yep, every last one of them. Okay. Well, I kind of figured this might be the case. I guess the good news is I can count them. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna come grab all of the uh, roosters that we're gonna kill. And it looks like guys have mostly scooted towards the front so that's good I think I want to separate them from the roosters there's several I don't know which one's which though that's one of the young ones. Man, they are pretty birds. Eight. Man, look how beat up they are. That's from them fighting. All right. Freezer's plugged in, stuff in the car should be good to go. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, it's about uh, 4.20 in the morning and uh, my body woke me up at about 4.09. My alarm was set for 4.15. And um, I guess I'm just antsy. <laughs> Wanted to get this thing done, so got my coffee brewing and I'm gonna get out the door here before too long. So it's about, uh, what time is it? 6.47 and I am just about 10 minutes from the uh, slaughterhouse. So it's been a little bit of a haul to get here and uh, I just stopped and checked on the chickens and they seem to be doing okay. 
hopefully they're not too stressed out. Uh, but I imagine once we get there, things are going to get rolling and uh, happen pretty quick. So I'm going to have to transfer the birds into um, the little crates. They have crates for these chickens uh, that you can transport them in. And I'm going to have to transport, uh, transfer them from the trailer into the crates that the slaughterhouse uses. Uh, because that's how they're going to take the chickens back into the area where they slaughter them and butcher them. So, almost there. I just drove over an old wooden bridge. Alright, we're about to transfer these guys to the crates get them ready for processing Gotta be honest with you, this doesn't feel good shoving them into these crates. All right, that's all of them. All right guys, so I'm out here at Burgundy Poultry Processing. I've just dropped off the broilers and my roosters on the back porch. I've asked them if they, if they would allow me to come in and shoot some video and just kind of document this process. Told them what I do and about the channel and uh, they said, sure, I just gotta keep the inspector out of the frame. So I'm gonna try not to get any faces at all in this and just kind of, talk a little bit about what goes on inside there and how these birds are processed. So give a little bit of insight to what it takes to get your chicken on your plate. Behind me is where they dispatch the chickens. They have their kill cones over here. They've also got some larger kill cones for the turkeys uh, and for the larger birds uh, that you can see over here. So they've got the kill cone here uh, and they will kill them and rotate them around, let them bleed out. They've got a scalder with an automatic scoop that actually stirs the chickens around and uh, makes sure that they get good contact with the skin, get those feathers loosened up. And then they've got a really big uh, plucker over here that they use to pluck all of the birds. And then they pass them through this window and they get onto a conveyor belt that that's where they gut all the birds and get them processed. So after they come through the window, they actually put them on leg hooks on this conveyor system that goes around and the chickens start over here uh, on this side and they cut off the oil gland and then they open uh, the, the cavity, they cut around the, the vent and then they'll begin to pull the entrails out, all the viscera uh, right here. Now this point, this is where a USDA inspector uh, puts their hands on it, makes sure that the bird is in good shape uh, and uh, suitable for human consumption. Uh, and then when they come around here, this is where they're going to be harvesting the organs. So the liver, the heart, things like that. Put those on ice and then the bird continues around where the rest of the viscera will be removed from the bird. Um, all of the, the crop, the esophagus, all of those things removed. And then the bird comes over to here where it is washed and where they remove the feet. And then they'll pass it down the line and that bird's just cleaned up until it gets to the last step where it is then put into an ice bath 
uh, to chill. And right now, <clears throat> they're actually processing a bunch of the birds behind me to my right. And we're gonna go in and see what that looks like. Uh, they're gonna be cutting up a bunch, not for, for me, for another customer that they had. Uh, but this is where they cut up, where they package, and where they uh, get the birds ready to be sold to the customers. Got the chicken loaded up into the truck, and uh, this is uh, six coolers of chicken. I don't know the total weight yet. They're gonna send that over to me. So, but we got it. It's all packed in the truck, and we're gonna head back home. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the farm, and I'm in our cold room right now. I've got all of the meat. The chickens back to the farm now. They are all wrapped and ready to go. I'm going to unload them from the coolers and put them on shelves here in the cold room where they're going to stay overnight. And then I will move them into the freezer. So uh, I'm going to take the weights and I'm going to get an average weight. And I'm also going to get a max weight and a minimum weight to find out kind of where we landed with the uh, broilers this season. So here we go. Okay y'all, so once I finally got all of my chickens in hand, I was able to crunch the numbers and find out what we brought home. So here's the numbers that we ended up with. Our total weight for 98 birds was 524 pounds, 524.41 uh, pounds. Uh, average weight per bird was about 5.351 pounds. And we had a range of sizes. Our smallest bird was 3.5. Uh, 750 pounds and our largest bird was 6.545 pounds uh, so a pretty big spread across the birds the my thought is that smallest one was either a female that snuck its way into our batch we had ordered a all-male uh, batch of chickens this time maybe it was a female or maybe it was a smaller bird who knows um, we did get organ meat and feet so we brought home three pounds of hearts, 12 pounds of livers, and 29 pounds of feet. And all in all, between chickens, organs, and feet, we brought home around 568.41 pounds of homegrown uh, chickens. So far, we've eaten one of them, and it was absolutely delicious. I've sold about 48 of them, and I still have a few more that uh, I've got to sell. And uh, some of you might be asking at this point, was it worth it? Is it worth it to raise your own uh, pastured poultry? Uh, that was one of the questions that I went into this whole thing wanting to ask. And, and I'm going to put together another video uh, that will kind of outline all of the details of this. What were all the costs? I'm going to itemize every single one of those. Um, so be looking for that video in the near future. I will tell you this, the chicken's delicious. I'm really looking forward to eating it. Uh, but I will tell you kind of a sneak peek to this next video. It was expensive. It was very expensive. So um, be looking for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I'd ask that you consider doing that. Thanks so much for watching this video and watching any of the others that we have uh, made. Uh, so hope you'd en you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Y'all take care.